This is Priyanka and you are watching Organizopedia. So when you have kids, it becomes usually difficult to take out time and to organize things or to organize your home in general. As so many people ask me also that how do I manage to organize my home uh, with an 11 month old toddler. So in today's video, we are going to see some ideas which will help you to engage your child uh, and these ideas will help him or her uh, to develop their initial IQ level. And you can do it your full time in organizing your home or doing any other spare time activity. Without further ado, let's get started. So for this first idea, we need colorful ribbons. Next we need a small cardboard box. I chose the square box. You can even go for a round shape or any other uh, different shape. And you need a screwdriver. So first start by making a few holes on your cardboard box randomly anywhere you want to. And then uh, take your thread with the help of a screwdriver. Pass it through the holes which you have made on your cardboard. Then at last take your ribbon and make few knots at the end of this ribbon. We have to make these knots at both the end of this ribbon uh, like this. So in this way your baby can pull this ribbon from here and there. So in the same way we have to pass uh, the different colors of ribbon through these holes which we have made on the cardboard box like this. So this is the best activity you can keep your child busy all the time. So this activity helps child to understand colors. Or uh, he or she learns to distinguish among the different ones. And because they have to pull it out so it's actually driven by curiosity. next idea we need a small carton box like this you can even take a bigger one or a smaller one but I chose this particular size because it's okay for me and then you need few rubber bands uh, elastic bands now put the rubber band across in this particular manner uh, put as many as rubber bands you want across this box uh, with the help of these uh, rubber bands, we are going to create sound for our kids. Now make sure no two rubber bands are overlapping with each other. So nicely separate them from each other. This is more a kind of rubber band guitar. Uh, and some time for more fun. I hide so many different toys in this box so that my boy uh, will keep finding for those toys. And this will add a little more uh, adventure to his game. So for the next idea we need a cardboard box and a pencil. And you have to draw this particular shape like this. There's a need a lot of drawing skills and then take your scissor and cut this part. And next we need these uh, caps which you can easily find it in any kind of soda or milk bottles. And we have to attach these caps in this particular way. Then take your glue gun and then fix these caps. And then uh, press them nicely in order to fix them. And then we have to uh, fold this cardboard exactly at the center like this. In order to make your own castanets at home for your child. So for the next idea we need some foam sheets. A pen. Next we need velcro tapes and then at last we need some cardboard. Uh, so for this we first need to take your uh, foam sheet put it upside down and then uh, make any kind of shape square, rectangle, circle any kind of shapes and then take your scissor and cut out uh, the shape which you have made on your foam sheet. So these are the shapes which I have made. Now put your shape on the cardboard and start tracing them. Now cut a small part of your velcro tape. 
Now we have to put this velcro tape on the uh, design which you have made on the foam sheet and the other one on the cardboard. So in the same way put this velcro tape on uh, the cardboard as well as on the designs which you have made on the foam sheet. So through this activity your child learns the concept of shapes. Uh, when he looks at the drawing inside the box he tries to superimpose the images so he learns the rotation also. So for this last idea we need a ziplock bag. Uh, this is a normal ziplock baggie. And then fix the three sides of this ziplock baggie with the help of a tape. And then at last take poster colors or watercolor. Then with the help of a spoon, take out the color and put it inside the ziplock baggie. Put at least 6-7 different colors inside the ziplock baggie for more fun activity. So this last activity is basically meant to try drawing. And you notice I have used so many different colors so it grips the child's attention also. You can put this coloring baggie anywhere. I put it on the dining table, on my center table and also on his high chair just to keep him busy all the time. I hope you like these ideas and keep this in mind that it may or may not work specifically with your child. But what's wrong in trying them once? And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And see you next time. Bye bye.